Welcome to Watcher, it's time for another tier list. But what will I rank this time? Let's find out. Firstly, thanks a lot for being here. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoy the content. I'd really appreciate that. And please don't leave any spoilers, that would be much appreciated. So, today I want to rank the characters according to intelligence, or rather according to my perception of how intelligent I believe the characters to be. Who are the true geniuses left, and which morons have managed to survive this far? I suspect that this will be quite difficult. And let's not forget, intelligent people can do stupid things, just as dumb people can do intelligent stuff. I'm not sure this will turn out well, but let's try. The tiers I will include are genius, for characters I consider to be geniuses. Then we have potential genius, for characters who have shown glimpses of brilliance and brightness. Next up is the intelligent tier, for characters whose intelligence is above average. And then we have average, well, that's quite self-explanatory. Right. After that comes the dumb tier, for characters who have done or said more dumb stuff than intelligent. And lastly, the TikTok tier, for the complete morons. So let's go. First up is Tyrion. No matter what we think about his character development and progression in the story, his intelligence is undeniable. He's able to dominate the conversation with almost anyone. As the nurse's hand, he becomes a key figure in the Game of Thrones once again. Next up is Tyrion's bro Jaime. I find it very difficult to place him on the list. He possesses the mind of a genius, but the behavior doesn't always match it. In fact, it matches that brilliance very rarely. Therefore, I'm gonna settle with saying that I believe him to be intelligent. Just as his sister, who's up next. The fact that she has survived for this long, even though pretty much everyone hates her, is a testament to her determination, but also to her intelligence. If she had the ability to see things from a greater perspective, I believe she'd have the potential to be a genius. But as we've seen so far, all her moves always backfire greatly. Next up is a fan favorite. Daenerys. Her intelligence has not been a concern. It is her morality that I and others often question. I personally believe her to be intelligent. She has gotten out of many difficult situations using brilliant little tricks, which counts for something. Jon is actually a rational and intelligent person, and I like his morality mostly. His biggest strength is the ability to see many perspectives, and I believe that to be a sign of high intelligence. Baelish is an easy one. He's one of the masterminds in the show, a true genius, a dangerous genius genius, and I believe he's about to become an overconfident genius. Wonder how it all will end for him. Davos is another difficult one. I feel like he's the best advisor in the show. His advice is spot on and consistent, and he's amazing at proving a point. He possesses all the ingredients to be a genius, but so far, he's just lacked the opportunity, being more of a background guy. Here comes Lady Melisandre, a confusing character. Is one intelligent for being able to manipulate people the way she has been doing it? If that's the case, she's highly intelligent. But someone who's so into what she's into can sometimes be perceived as a bit robotic and dumb. I'm gonna say that she's intelligent, and that's that. I still can't believe that we lost her, but Marjorie was easily a genius. She got that from her grandmother, and she was always a step ahead of everyone. Out playing and outthinking the toughest of opponents. It's sad to see that someone else's overconfidence led to her death, even though she managed to see through that as well, although a bit too late. Elaria is just average. Her rise to power has very little to do with her, but with people showing her mercy one too many times, apparently. The fact that she is where she is, is quite offending. Prince Duran was an intelligent person. Everything he said was true, and the way he handled the Marcella situation was brilliant. Unfortunately, someone else had to undo everything. Good people don't survive for very long in that world. That's become quite apparent by now. But then again, it's quite random who dies. Let's move on to the next character. Sansa has grown so much throughout the show. She's gone from a naive little girl to a cynical but dependable woman. She has had some great teachers, even though most of them were quite evil. But I expect her to grow even more, so for now, I will place her in the intelligent tier. Sander is a character whose intelligence can be underestimated. But here's the thing, nothing he's ever said has been wrong. He is aware of the world he's living in, and he's surprisingly sharp. I personally believe that he's a very intelligent person. An intelligent person on a harsh path. So let's put some respect on his name. If you know as many languages as Miss Ande does, then you simply have to be at least intelligent. Arya shows all the signs of a highly intelligent child. She's a norm breaker, 
a rebel at heart, and she is fearless. Every challenge she's faced, she's passed. I see a person with genius potential in her. Even after all that the Starks have gone through, they still have such a promising future, if they can continue overcoming all their troubles, that is. Theon is a character who tried to reach a bit too far. He saw himself at the top, but didn't realize that he didn't possess the tools to stay there. He has done a lot of stupid things, but I don't necessarily believe that they came from a stupid place. But let's be honest, so far, he's been average, like most of the Greyjoys. Intelligence isn't really their thing. Sam is the type of character who sees what others don't, or someone who understands what others don't. There is a reason he's becoming a maester. He has the mental capacity to become one. In my eyes, he's so close to being a genius that I'm gonna put him in that tier. Didn't wanna do this to such a sweet and likable character, but unfortunately, nothing my guy Tommen did was smart. The task was just too big for him. Everyone played him including his own mother. But remember, you don't have to be smart to be a good and likable person. The end of Tywin was the end of Tommen, and I'm gonna keep saying that for the rest of my time. Brienne is great when it comes to fighting, but intellectually, she's quite average, and I like that about her. Not everyone has to be a genius. Nothing is ever too complicated with her. She does what needs to be done. Bronn is actually one of the sharpest characters. His tongue is sharp, and his fighting skills are as well. He might lack the ambition, or he might simply have other interests, but whatever it is, He's a survivor. I actually believe that he has genius potential. He possesses eccentric genius. I feel like Bran was brighter when he was a young child. For that reason, I believe that somewhere inside him, there is genius hidden. When he's back within the wall, it will be time to bring it out. Time to live up to the title as the Three-Eyed Raven. Varys the Spider is a genius. No doubts about that. He's hundred steps ahead of almost everyone. And so far, I haven't found any real weaknesses. He might be Daenerys' biggest asset. I guess toward is average. I don't really want to call him dumb, but he might be though. I just feel like he's smart in a wildling type of way. I think Dario is intelligent. The only characters who do outsmart him are the geniuses, like Tyrion. But when it comes to everyone else, he manages to hold his own. Well, Roose became the Warden of the North. You don't become that if you're stupid. Gilly is like a child, learning about the vast world. She has potential to grow, but right now, she's somewhere between average and intelligent. I'd say more close to average. The High Bird no matter what we feel about him, for as long as he was here, he never got owned by anyone intellectually. Even Lady Olena had trouble with him. He might have been one of the most intelligent characters in the whole show, but like most who reach the top, their own arrogance defeats them. Ramsay might have acted like a fool, but he was an extremely calculated individual. Sickly calculated. To be that calculated, you need to be highly intelligent. I don't really know about Jacken. I guess he's intelligent, or else he wouldn't be as highly regarded as he is. Just like Dario, I believe Jorah to be intelligent, even though I find his character to be quite frustrating. Grey Worm is average. It's not his intelligence that is his strength. I suppose this girl is average? I don't really care. Does the mountain possess intelligence? Wow didn't really seem like so. Yara has been so underwhelming as a character. That includes her intelligence. An average character with an average intelligence. Here is the genius of the geniuses, Lady Olena. Every scene she's in is evidence of how much of a genius she is. When it comes to Ed, I'd say he's average. Hasn't really shown us much more than that. If we had seen more of Uncle Kevin, I'd most likely be placing him as intelligent. We know that he tried to do the right and smart things, but in the end, he was no Tywin. Podrick is another difficult one. He's a bit quiet, and all the impressive things he's done seem to have been unintentional. So when it comes to intelligence, I think he's been average so far. But I see potential in him. He's a bit sneaky. Unintentionally sneaky maybe. For having such intelligent children and such an epic mother, it's strange that he's nothing like them. In fact, he's quite dumb and comical. The dude might have inherited all the wrong genes. Many might view Paisel as intelligent, for the simple fact of having survived for so long, and for having been able to play his role so well. That might be the correct assessment of him, but for me, he's just been average, which is why he has survived, but no one ever saw him as a true threat. Maybe that's genius actually. Only a fool is brainwashed to the extent that Lancel was. There was never an individuality to him. But once upon a time, he was funny as hell. Mira is more of a fighter than a thinker. For that reason, I'm placing her in the average tier. Another average one is Edmure, but once again, he hasn't really been doing much. The genius professor. 
That's who Kyburn is. A dangerous man that doesn't look or act dangerously at all. This guy is trouble. But I like him. I respect his brilliant mind and his low-key personality. Unfortunately, Ollie didn't get a chance to be anything else than dumb. I wish that it hadn't went that way. A narrow-minded man. That's who Alistair turned out to be. A bit more flexibility in his rationale and I'd promote him to intelligent. There's only one category for this hero. If not for him, it would all have been over. Hodor's selflessness makes him a genius. I'd say Walder is TikToked, but his sneaky mind has given him some victories. Let's not give him too much credit though. He is pretty damn average. The show has definitely made Barbara and her siblings into morons. Their stupidity is offending. From what we've got to see, Tristane was at least a bit smarter than his cousins, so I guess average. Loras is another character that wasn't really known for his intellectual prowess. I'd say that he's average. Marjorie inherited all the brains. When it comes to Uncle Benjen, I'm ready to call him intelligent. Surviving beyond the wall alone for quite some time. That's impressive in my opinion. It's sad that he died so soon. Rickon had potential. I liked him, but I'm gonna put him in the average tier, although I believe he had the potential to be intelligent. His siblings were, so by probability he'd be as well. I wanted to see more of the blackfish. He seemed like an intelligent man. Coming back like he did was impressive, but those foolish soldiers just ruined everything. Osha was on the verge of being intelligent, but in the end she got caught too many times and didn't really play her cards correctly. So like Rickon, I'm gonna put her in the average tier. I'm so close to putting Balon in the TikTok tier, but no, I guess I'll set her for dumb. Here's the template for dumb. Plain and simple. Euron, Balon's bro isn't exactly a glowing head either, but he's at least one step above him. Robin is actually challenged. I hate to see people take advantage of that. My cat would beat him in an IQ test. I firmly believe that. Beric, the leader of the Brotherhood, must at least be intelligent, or everything would have fallen apart a long while ago. From what we've seen, Thoros have acted quite intelligently. There hasn't been much dumb about him. He knows what he's doing, I think. The three-eyed raven is wise beyond life. I can't place him anywhere but in the genius category. A true enlightened being. Last time I saw the Night King, he looked pretty freaking intelligent, knowing exactly what he was causing. I'm kinda scared to see him again. Really? I guess average. I don't care. Why is he here? Go home. This girl, Liana Mormont is my hero. I can see her becoming a great leader. She's a genius in the making. Love her. Honestly, I can't be bothered by some of these characters. I suppose she's average. I just know too little about Sam's brother. But from the first impression, he seemed quite average. Same goes for Sam's father. He might even be dumb, but the fact that he defeated Robert is impressive, so he might actually be intelligent. Sam must have gotten his brains from someone. Or maybe it's his mother he got his intelligence from. Or maybe he got his intelligence from his dad and his kindness from his mother, which is why he's turned out that way, into a kind and intelligent intelligent person. Yep, I think that's it. So that's that. The characters ranked according to their intelligence, or something like that. As I said, this is probably more close to my perception of their intelligence. But who is genius number one in your opinion? And who is the most TikToked? I'd love to know. Anyway guys, Thank you so much for being here. I hope you've enjoyed this, but I will be back with the next season as usual. Be sure to subscribe for more and leave a like if you found this enjoyable. I'd really appreciate that. Now take care and see you soon.